Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today we're starting off with one of my best ever series I have ever recorded in my 8000 hours. Today's video is part 1 and we will team up with a couple of friends and we will do a ton of PvP, getting very rich and even defending our base against a very good team of 7. The server is always populated, always having 30 players, so the action literally never stops. If you guys want episode 2 to come out tomorrow, let's aim for 400 likes. If we reach 400 likes in 24 hours, I'll upload part 2 tomorrow, where we start off with an insane online full crystallized bunker base raid. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, we just reached 35,000 subscribers and we're aiming to reach 40,000 by the end of this year. Last video I announced the Mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my Discord and contact me over there. Today we're going through another one which is a Crystal Shards Kitsune Mosque. If you wanna win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below and let's get straight into the video. But before we start dominating the server, I would like to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Pine Hosting. Are you guys looking to create your own Unter network with survival roleplay or just a private server with friends? Then make sure to check out Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting, you can set up your server in literally just a few minutes. The performance is very high quality and extremely easy to use and learn. When I started off with my own network, I had no idea how to do anything, but with Pine Hosting's easy navigation, it only took me a few minutes to just learn the basics. They have global locations, affordable pricing, and hostings not just for Unturned, but for many, many other games, including Rust, Ark, and Minecraft. My favorite feature from Pine Hosting is the fact that you can have a plugin and workshop installer, and with just one click, you can install them in your servers. If you guys are interested, make sure to use the code LDG for a huge discount of 30% off, the link will be in the description below, and let's get straight into the video. All right, boys, we are in Elver. It's a complete new wipe. Nothing in my vault. I don't have anything. Now, the server is actually quite full, but I will not be solo. I do have a friend that's going to join me. We're probably going to duel for a bit, see how it goes. Now, we're probably going to run into a lot of PvP, man. The server is actually crazy populated nowadays. All right, so I can do myself a kit. This is the only PvP kit that you can get, which is a skill arc kit. Nothing that insane, obviously. And we spawn next to the mall, so I'm going to loot the mall. Try to get ourselves some good loot, hopefully. We'll get ourselves some military items. Now, the server is a bit high times loot it's nothing that crazy though but i'm pretty sure the most that we're going to do is pvp raiding obviously we're trying to get ourselves a pretty decent base if you guys do want to play here the server is called deeps i do want to actually play a full wipe here so perhaps this is going to be the start of a series i really actually do want to do that all right so we got ourselves some military clothes let's just drop those we don't need those it's currently a full moon as well there's a guy there i right, hit him once i missed oh he has a gun Hit him again. I think I hit the tree, actually. And he's running away. Alright, he's dead. Yep, he had uh, nothing that good. He just had a gun and uh, some clothes. Alright, let's make ourselves some meds. Now, I'm gonna loot them all. If I do get myself U phones and uh, anything good graphics card, then they will st go straight to vault. After that, we'll probably just start building a base. Maybe I'll try to get myself a chainsaw from here. So, yeah, my teammate did join. Yeah, the node in the middle is also farmed. Somebody was here very, very recently. And yeah, this is my teammate. Oh, he already has some military loot. Okay, that's pretty good. He has a pog. Let's hope the zombie drops a gun. Yeah, he did drop guns but not we need not what we need we'll strip the skiller get ourselves a military knife as well let's salvage the other one i thought i saw somebody no never mind servers like this actually get me extremely paranoid man because elver is such a small map everybody's in the middle so finding people is gonna be so easy oh there's night vision on the park i'll take those i gotta have myself a graphics card i didn't even know these spawn here all right, so we're gonna chop down some trees with a knife. Don't have an axe or any of that, so it's gonna be a bit of a struggle. But we really need to get ourselves a base ASAP, man, before we just die to a random four-man or a five-man, because there's a lot of groups in the survey. Actually dropped down way more logs than I thought. Jesus, you could build... A whole base with just one tree. Mate, we're gonna build probably a 2 by one for now. Nothing that insane. Just somewhere to store our loot, man. And we'll do floors, all of the pillars. Now we'll do the rest as walls. Yeah, I should have already finished the pillars and some of the walls. Yeah, let's chop down another one. Alright, so a slight update. There is a one of my clan members on the survey. And he's been playing here apparently for a while. And yeah, they have crystallized base. Alright, where well, we're gonna team with him, both me and my duo. He does have some teammates as well, so that's going to be quite interesting. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to skip the grinding and we're just going to go straight into the PvP and into the raiding. I'm not gonna take any of their loot. I'm still gonna run around with the skiller. I'm just gonna check what they have. They actually do seem quite geared. They have a full crystal base. There's four beds in there. Yeah, it's a big group then. 
But yeah, the server is known to have big groups in the server, Zergs, and all of that, so being in a bigger group than a duo, I think, is actually a smart idea. Especially if we do find ourselves a Zerg, we can raid. It would be much more interesting here. Currently a four-man team. I'm gonna put my bed over here. I don't know if I should, but I'm gonna put it there anyway. I can't put it. I think it's because there's people in the way. And I'm gonna depot whatever I have, even though I don't have anything that good. All I have is a graphics card, which is safely in my vault. And then we will go straight into PvP. Try to get ourselves some good loot. Try to find ourselves some raid targets. And hopefully, not die. Alright, so we're over at this. There's people. He's right there. He's dead. He killed my teammate. Right, let's check out what loot he had. Let's clear the zombies out first. He had a po he had a pog with a an extended mag, actually. It's pretty good. I don't know if that was my teammates, to be honest. But yeah, there's a bunch of loot on there's another loot pile here. A billion vests. I'm still gonna use the skill arc, actually. The skill arc is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated weapons. Okay, well, he had a puck with a scope. I think that's what he had, actually. Now, the server does have a shop system. And in order to get money, you can get it either by killing players, by killing zombies, I'm pretty sure. Or selling items. And apparently, I do have quite a ton because of previous streams and videos that I have recorded over here. I just didn't know that there was a shop, so it kept saving up. So, probably in this series, we may use some of that money. Alright, next, we're gonna head to Junction 67. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be people over there and we'll try to get as much kills as possible and we'll see what will happen after we do some pvp i'll probably just try to focus on getting myself some high tier loot like components and perhaps going doing a dead zone run as well that's something that i will want to do but i guess for now focusing on pvp is pretty good it's a pretty good method to get loot and if we do get something in particularly insane i will home depot it in their base and then i'll tp back all right there's a lot of people actually there's at least a tree man on the other side. This is gonna be insane. Probably gonna die though. Just with a skill arc. There's another dude there. Yeah, he's dead. Let's go. First kill. There's more people there. Another two guys on the tower. I really want to loot the guy that I killed. Yeah, there's more people on the other side. Hit him. He's dead. There's another dude. Hit him as well. He has a shotgun. There's people with pogs. Oh, he knows about me. Oh, he hit me. Oh, I'm low. Yeah, he's dead as well. There's another dude. Hit him. I'm um, right. Let's back up a bit. This guy's just saying hello, Liam. Is he dead? Hold on. Let's back up a bit. Let's throw a grenade. Kobe. I think he's dead. There's people on the tower now as well. Can't believe I'm alive with just a skill arc. And all of these guys have actually good guns. Yeah. Pog, sauce, tusk, bunch of ammo. All right. Let's switch to the pog. There's even more loot down here. Hi, Cal. Radio. Alright, well, I just heard someone shoot a heat wave one bullet. I still didn't loot the first guy that I killed either. Yeah, I think he's hiding behind the thing. There's another dude. Alright, he's dead. Let's go. Bro, I'm dominating with this killer, man. Let's check out what loot he had. I don't know if he had anything good, to be honest. Let's clear out the zombie. Oh, there's people with trebles. Oh, yeah, he had some loot, but nothing that good. We really need to try to get that rebel. There's nobody on the tower anymore. Oh, I killed the zombie. He's right there. All right, he's dead. We got the rebel guy. I'm going straight for the rebel, man. I probably will either use it or just straight in vault. All right, you hit him. Yep, we got the rebel. Screw the skill arc then. Take, takes the literally the same ammo. So I might as well go with the rebel, bro. There's a guy there. He's dead. Bro, from skill arc to rebel. Insane rex to riches. All right, so I depoted everything. Came back with a pog. They said there's people around in mall. And yeah, there's a guy. Wait, what? Oh, there's a guy up there. There's another dude here. Bro, what the hell? Just He had a pog. My guy was running around with a shotgun when he had a pog. Oh, this guy's geared. Yeah, fully decked out Valentine. Bro, Valentine is one of my favorite Alver guns. I need to get up there to check out what loot he had. There's another graphics card in here. That's going straight in vault as well. Man, well, currently what we're doing is we're running around the map trying to kill as much players as possible so that maybe the server will reduce some popularity so that then we can raid a bit in peace. Yeah, there's even more shots. Moscow. All right, so this is where I killed... Oh, and I didn't even do the jump. There's even more people. Wait, is he dead? Oh, yeah, he's dead. Let's go. Any insane loot? We'll take the pog as well, actually. We do need backup guns. He had another Valentine. Let's clear out the zombies. Yeah, there's a lot of shots going on. There's a dude right here. He's dead. I'm still getting shots at. I have no idea from where. All right, let's med up. I don't know how I'm alive. Let's back up even more. Yeah, my teammate is here. All right, then let's push if my teammate is here. So I want to check out what the loot had of the guy that I killed. There's a dude right there. There's more people, though. I think we just found, like, a four-man or something. There's a dude right... Oh, he's dead. The guy right there, though. All right, he's dead. I'm still getting shot at. Do I have meds? Yeah, I do. Oh, I'm dead. 
Guy came up from behind me, man. Feels bad. There's too many people, bro. My vault is full with actually goodies. I should probably home and depot that. Yeah, we're back. There's a lot of hike out here. Jesus. We should take that high kill, definitely. And my teammate killed somebody, love, nice. And let's take the good stuff. Yeah, I should actually take this little depot it. And just come back naked with a gun. Alright, well, there's people with treble. There's a lot of shots going on, actually. There's too many, actually. There's a guy very close. Two guys, three guys. Alright, one guy dead. There's another dude here, dead as well. There's so many people I'm getting shot at. Another dude. Wait, is he not dead? Come back here. He's running a medding. He's dead as well. There's a poor dude. I'm dead. Bro, there's so many people. Oh, it's lighting. Wait, I know this guy. He's one of my one of my viewers, man. What's up, bro? I think I just killed him, actually. Okay, now I feel bad. Yeah, but apparently he's in a seven-man team. Jesus. Okay, that's the biggest group in the server then. There's so much shots going on. I don't even have a gun, bro. What am I gonna do? There's guys up on the bridge. They're shooting the naked, though. My teammates all have guns, but I'm getting shot at. a gun I'm throwing grenades i don't think i'm gonna last long here bro there's too many yeah i'm dead with a pendiculator eh? oh there's a guy behind us thankfully there's a billion tusks on the floor yeah he jumped off he's dead easy he don't have anything that good though and yeah, those guys also did leave there's i think they killed like five mega zombies or something there's so much load on the floor all right well we'll take it the good thing about this kind of server is that even though it's always full of players, it's very easy to get loot. But I'm pretty sure for raiding, there's gonna be base health, so it does take quite a ton of grinding to actually raid. And every base that's unraided is usually just a massive base. So that can actually be kind of cool that we raid huge bases, rather than just the usual 1x1s or 2x1s. So perhaps if we do do it as a series, I may just record every day and then every day I would upload one day per video. So for example, today is day one, tomorrow would be another video called day two. I think that would be a very cool idea actually. And we'll do like five days playing here non-stop. It'll be a banger wipe and a banger series as well, hopefully. Alright, so after that I did go AFK for around 10 minutes and then when I returned I realized that the seven men team is actually outside our base and they were attempting to raid us they were camping the doors and my teammate was getting completely crushed obviously this is a seven man team they are all pretty good at the game and our base wasn't anything that special either so we did decide to defend it and this is what happened well apparently we're getting door camped or something there's a gun on the floor i thought oh yeah we're getting shot at Oh yeah, they're all up there. Yeah, my, my team's base, they didn't really put it in a good location. It's literally at the bottom of a hill. So they can just get on top of the hill and they would su have such a huge advantage. Oh, yeah, my teammate is trying to backstab or something. Yeah, they're all, there's so many. Jesus. I think they already saw us. Yeah, they saw us. Bro, we're literally against a full zerg or something. This is crazy. Oh, he should be so low. I ran out of ammo, man. Literally put a whole magazine in him. Oh. What? Okay, well, I TP'd to my teammate, and my teammate had died. Okay, I, I, alright, never mind. Yeah, they're starting to raid. All we need is a blowtorch, honestly. Thing is, I don't know if we even have any blowtorches. Oh yeah, there we go. I think they're trying to raid the sentry, actually. Yeah, they're trying to destroy the sentry on the roof. They didn't break anything else out here. Yeah, just, let's fix this roof. This roof is quite damaged. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're trying to destroy the sentry. Honestly, it's fine. We could keep the sentry out there. Yeah, they're not raiding any of the base. It's all still 100%. And it's raiding somewhere we don't even realize. Honestly, I think the best plan... Oh, I opened that by mistake. But I do think that the best plan is just keeping all of the doors closed. And let them try to raid. Because if we rush out, there is a high chance that they could kill us with the door open. Yeah, they're literally waiting by the doors. And let them waste their raiding gear. If they do manage to raid in, then we'll just have to start closing the doors. And if they do start to get in, we should just move base. Shouldn't be that hard. They're almost double us. It's really... Yeah, they're trying grenades. I think they may have run out of raiding gear, actually. We do have some more sentries inside the base as well. So that we can put them by the doors and just put shotguns. But till now, base is pretty much A-OK. -okay. Oh. Okay, well, we just lost a couple of rooms. Uh, my teammate just opened the door. And yeah, thankfully, my bed is still at the other side of the base. Yeah, this is actually terrible. Pendiculators are so OP, man. I bought a palace. I need to try to regain... Oh, yeah, they're right there. Let's close the door. I still need to figure out how this base actually is, because it's quite confusing. Oh, my guy just threw a grenade. All right, we closed the door. 
At least, let's close that. Oh, I killed one. Yeah. Pendiculator's too OP, man. We can't buy pendiculators, I'm pretty sure, as well. Oh, yeah, they're still right there. Oh, he's whistling at me, bro. Come on. What we can try to do is if both of us, if all of my team, we just rush from both sides with shotguns. I think we should manage to do something. But if we keep going one by one, it may not go as well. Or we all go together, screw it. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we lost another. We killed two and there were three. I think I, I don't even know if I killed one. Alright, so one of our teammates, he is building another base. It's a much smaller one, but it's full crystallized anyway. I have no idea. I think he just had spare base parts in the locker somewhere, maybe in his vault. This just got salvaged. Okay. But we're gonna start moving the loot and then we'll just try to kill them over and over. If they do manage to raid us, then the loot at least will be safe. If we do manage to get rid of them, though, then that would be epic. I'm gonna take Valentine. Yeah, my teammates are just throwing grenades now. Opening and throwing grenades. Which is actually kind of smart, to be honest. Because we could just seal them in. But yeah, we're salvaging. I think it's the smart thing to do. I just wear all of this thick. Because I'm pretty sure they're not gonna leave us alone. Yeah, they're still outside. There's still a lot of shots going on. Alright, so I do have a full inventory of good items. We're not gonna all place beds here or else we wouldn't be able to go into the other base. But we're actually starting to kill a few of them here and there while we're moving the loads. Then as soon as we're finished here, we'll probably just salvage the entire of the base, all of the crystal parts as well. Generator, including sentries, everything. Then we'll open the door and just let them all rush us. It would be completely fine. If we do manage to kill them, then yay. If not, then it's completely fine. Alright, so I'll start throwing grenades. There we go. That may actually get a couple of kills. Oh yeah, we did kill someone. Let's throw another one. I think my teammates... Oh, oh nice, they killed someone. Oh nice, there we go. They got some kills. Oh, there's still people outside. Oh, this guy's still here. Alright, well at least we did manage to seal that part off. There's not even all of them inside the base. Some of them are just camping outside. Alright, we are back. Any grenades on the floor, perhaps? We did move the majority of the good loot, by the way. We still gotta move some. I think my teammate cleared a couple of them. Yeah, let's fix whatever they're breaking. Are there any shotguns on there? There's a Valentine. I mean, we could take that. Alright, let's reload it as well. I'm probably gonna continue moving the loot, actually. Alright, I am back naked with a shotgun and a grenade. Alright, let's... Oh, now we got a shotgun. Let's throw that there. Oh, okay, well, that one got stuck. Right, well, that guy just thought... Oh, there we go. He just got all of his loot. That's kind of funny. That guy thought that he's gonna try to push me. He got stuck and he died to the grenade. It was completely intentional, dude. Got ourselves a Hellcat from him. Right, I think... Wait, did my team clear them out? Wait, there's no way. Oh, dude, we did. They're all dead. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. Easy base defense. Sure, grenade. I don't know if there's anyone there. I don't think so. Okay. All right, well, we got their loot, whatever they had. I don't think even they had anything that good. It's kind of funny that one of the lost dudes died to my grenade. They're still outside, obviously, but we're still gonna continue move the loot. But at least they are no longer inside the base. At least we did manage to get rid of them from inside. All right, yeah, I'm gonna continue moving the loot. I can make myself some more lockers, actually, probably. Let's fix it so that we can actually salvage it completely. All right, so we did just manage to uh, salvage the interior. Oh, they salvaged the roof. Oh, there's a billion sentries at the top. Alright, one guy dead. Oh, there's too many. Yeah, they put sentries as well, bro. But yeah, they managed to get in. We salvaged the roof. We didn't have anything else inside the base. We did move all of the loot. It was kind of funny, though. It was actually quite entertaining. They lost a lot of uh, raiding gear. We lost some crystallized walls. That is basically it. We did lose some of the sentries, too. But yeah, now we can continue on actually doing uh, our grinding that we were doing some time ago. But I don't know if we do manage to call this a win or a loss. Because we didn't lose anything. But we didn't win either. We did manage to clear them out once at least. Oh, well, my teammate found someone. Alright, there's people right in front of me, bro. I hit him. Killed two. I think they're all naked though. There's more people. I think they're trying to raid or something. There's too many people, man. Oh, I think we just found ourselves an online base raid, then we could just go back and try to see what we can cook. Oh, we're back now, we're with the whole team. There's a guy there, hit him once, he's dead. There's another dude. Oh my, he's so leggy, bro. He literally just dodged all of my bullets, bro. That was kind of funny. Alright, let's go back, I bought myself a pog. I'm wasting a lot of my money, actually. 
I'm buying these guns. Alright, and they're both dead. Oh, they're geared. Oh my god. Okay, he has filter. Let's mad up. I need to back out a bit. My team is most of them dying. Let's use the Mosca. Let's put the filter in our vault so at least we do profit something. Oh yeah, they have candy cane Moscas and everything. So there's people up there. They're dead. Yeah, we found ourselves another five-man team or something. My right, super low. Alright, he's dead. Let's take the ammo. Let's strip the pog. I'm gonna run around with the Mosca. I don't think I've used it at all yet today. Oh, there's more people there. One guy dead. He's destroyed the bed. Alright, hopefully that was their only bed as well. Yeah, they came back with a palace. Pretty sure they just bought it or something. Right, that's where the thick. I could depot all of this loot actually. It's a lot of good loot, man. There's a bunch of guns as well. They have a golden swordfish. I have so much thick clothes on me. Alright, that was pretty good actually. We did profit. Alright, I depoted. Let's go back. Oh, there's a guy back there. I'm gonna die. Hit him twice. Hit him again. Oh, he's dead. There's much more people though. Let's med up. Bro, what is that gun, man? It shoots so fast. Yeah, we can't go inside this bunker. I think we cleared them all out. Oh, never mind. There's a guy there. Hit him once. My, my teammate killed him. Yeah, he's geared as well. Oh, never mind. Just has full police. Bunch of shots for the shotgun. Alright, that's not too bad. Wait, we're actually... A lot of us are looting them, depoting. So we're actually gaining a lot of guns mostly. Apparently one of my teammates also gained a respirator, which is pretty nice. There's the dude right there, he's dead. Dude, it's literally a full army of green skins. There's another guy. All dead. We just killed five green skins, bro. That was epic. There's a Valentine over here. There's a lot more Oh yeah, destroying the car. Most of them were naked though. Let's check out this dude had. He had a puck. Three telescopes. Damn. Alright. Yeah, I should depot. I've got another full inventory of loot. But I think now we cleared them actually pretty good. Uh, got ourselves another fully decked out pog. A bunch of grenades. There's a renegade too. Some thick clothes. There's a thick vest. Oh, nice. My teammate got it. It's fine. At least we got it. Alright, so I did make myself a bunch of lockers. To put them all here. This base is also starting to get pretty full, man. We have no more space at all. All of the lockers we have are all full of loot. Yeah, I'm gonna empty my vault just in case we get something good. I'll put them all in here. They're safe in here anyway. Then we're about to log off. I could just log off with that kind of loot. Alright, let's TPA back. Oh, there's people. There's a guy there. He's dead. Oh, my teammate died. There's another dude. That as well. Bro, there's so many green skins. It's insane. Wait, this guy is stacked. Bro, there's so much cans. Oh my god, yeah, he's actually stacked. He has a Mosca. He has a billion cans. Bro, there's so much. Oh my god. Dude, you can build a whole base with this. I have no more space. Right, I need to drop those. I should probably home actually and depot all of these cans. This is so much metal. There's people speaking. I don't know if that's my own team. There's a guy on top of the base. There's even more. I'm dead. There's uh, three people in front of me all punching each other to death. Nice. Right here. He's dead. Green skin down. I actually he's not a green skin. I'm just gonna pick up my loot and I'm gonna get out of here, man. And then I'll TP back. There's too much. I don't even have pants on, I just realized. Alright, there we go. We got pants. Yeah, we just found ourselves a live base, by the way. I don't think we're gonna try to raid them. I think we're just trying to wait for them to either open a door or something. Because apparently my team is saving up for a pretty big raid. Right, yeah, I can make some lockers now with all of this metal that I've just gotten, man. So that's what I'm gonna do. Probably for the next couple of minutes. There's a guy up there. I don't know what they're saying, bro. Alright, two guys dead. There's even more. Is he dead? Oh yeah, he's dead. Oh, he has full thick. I'm just gonna take the loot and dip, bro. Yeah, billion cans. Alright, we should successfully depot as well. We should just dip. There's a lot more shots. Oh, I'm dead, man. There's like three different teams. I hit him so many times as well. It's fine, we'll go back. Alright, so another W Depot. Making more lockers. My teammates are just going there, getting as much loot, homing, dropping the loot and going back while I'm just here. Organizing as much stuff as possible. Yeah, this base is completely cramped up as well. You have no more space. I'm literally gonna put lockers inside lockers. It's gonna be locker exception. The guy there. He's dead. There's more. Oh, he should be low. Hit him again. He's dead as well. I don't think I've seen anyone spam the sauce that fast. 
Oh my god, he has so much ammo. I'm gonna take it all, bro. There's so much. He also has a pendiculator. There's so many green skins in the server. It's literally a green skin haven, dude. All right, well, we'll put the task all of the ammo in there. Pendiculator is pretty nice as well. He had a mystery box for whatever reason. Buy mystery box now. All right, let's refill all of our mags. Alright boys, so after that, I did leave the server for day one. Now trust me, from day two onwards, it starts to get even more intense. Day one was literally just preparing a lot of PvP. But from day two, we will start doing some intense, huge group versus group base raids. And they're all actually really, really entertaining. So I can't wait for you guys to watch those. But if you guys do want to see it come out tomorrow again, let's try to reach the like goal of 400 likes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys had a good time. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.